As you can see, many of the participants in this march are not businessmen and bankers. They're rather long-haired young people displaying peace signs and shouting, Free Kelly. Reaction along the sidewalks has been a mixture of amusement and support. There has been some support from people in a bank looking down and clapping, from the doormen at a hotel applauding, and then from scattered groups of spectators who've just been looking. I believe that the president should set Lieutenant William Calley free. Well, if I was the president of the United States, I'd up Lieutenant Calley about two ranks, give the Congress a medal of honor for carrying out his orders to a T. Well, I think the president should do nothing but just give him a full part, kick the whole thing out. Mr. Nixon, as our president, should grant to Lieutenant Calley a full pardon. I think that Calley deserves to be released completely. He, um was only doing his job. If you're going to prosecute one, we'll prosecute a lot of them. And I feel that the President of the United States should release Calais and release everybody else. He's only doing his job, and this is war, and war stinks, and he just has to be released, and that's all there is about it. I think Lieutenant Calais should be given a medal and all of his honors and a promotion. It's a big mess, and <clears throat> President Nixon ought to find out what the truth is, really. I appreciate the, all these wonderful people coming here. It far exceeded my expectations. Thank you, Ms. Price. Jesse, uh, how's it going? It far exceeded my expectations, the number of people here. But I think that this proves to the rest of America uh, what the uh, strong underlying feeling of the citizens are, that Lieutenant Kelly was unjustly tried, and he had an unjust court-martial, and we have ways in the United States of getting our word over to the President and to the Congress that we, the citizens, the concerned citizens of Dallas, and I hope it will be the nation, do not go along with the conviction of Lieutenant Cowley, and they will hear from us by petitions. Thank you. And thus ends the march in protest of the conviction of Lieutenant Cowley as George Hughes merges into the crowd, thanking the people who walked up the town and down the town with him. This is Travis Lynn, Channel 8 News on the Move.